Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks. This is my buddy Jay. As you can see by the Taste the Rainbow selection of vehicles that are in the main working part of our workshop, that's because things have gone. Special delivery, we have some um, storage ramps. Lots of drama to get them off the truck. And of course, lots of drama to even create the space to fit them. Well, to hopefully fit them, because basically me and Jay are doing this. It's taken quite a bit of work to get this cleared off, so uh, I think we took a bit of time lapse, so you can see that first. And then we'll crack on. So we've done plenty of unpacking and the instructions are uh, somewhat incomplete, is that what we'd say? Yeah, so stage one, check it, the action is free, stage two, there's your ramp. So. <laughs> so what we're doing for the moment is we've built one of the beds, roughly, just a frame for the bed, because one of the most important things is getting the positioning of these correct. Um, it's a five bay ramp system and the we want to make sure that we've still got clearance to the tire rack here but we want to have it as kind of as close to the um, back racking as possible while still obviously retaining enough space here to for the overhang of a rear bumper so for example the s15 i imagine will have to overhang ever so slightly. It's probably not a bad car to use as a demo, the S15. So what we're gonna do anyway, is measure the S15, see what position on this ramp the rear wheel will sit, ideally, and then see whether this back section here will allow the bumper to, uh, to go up past it. Worst case, we can add something to the ramp, so it can actually, like, the back wheels could go on their own ramp that we make on top of this, but, the most important thing, as I say, is just making sure we get the distance to the ramps correct. I'm not expecting to get, obviously, my Impala on here or anything like that. That will definitely be an underneath car. But some of the other cars, like the more normal ones, like the E46 M3, S15s, 86 and the Hilux are both small, so I wouldn't expect any issues with those. But yeah, I kind of just want to be able to get anything on there, really, with the exception of the Lamborghini, Chevy Minaj, and the Impala. Pilots has got a mean overhang. It has, it's got a real big overhang, but it's quite short otherwise and at the front. Hot. Yeah, so I don't think that'll be an issue. No. But yeah, let's have a quick measure of the back of the S15. About three and a half, just under. I don't think we're far away from where we need to be.
doing that thing where it's another week. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mission. It is an absolute mission. Yeah. Um, didn't pick up the camera much uh, because it was about 28 degrees in here, which, you know, we're British, we're not used to that type of heat. Look, I'd say that, you know, that's quite a successful point that we finished at last week. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not 100% confident we're going to be able to finish it this week either, but we're trying, no, our, we're trying our best. We're trying our best. We're sorting out uh, chains, we've got the electric motor and the rest of the hydraulic plumbing to saw. But yeah, I guess, yeah, before it gets... I'll try and get at least one working today. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's going to be 30 degrees in here today. Welcome to Sweatfest 9000. It's <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Swore. But look, there we go. We have a ah. test ramp. Should we call it a test ramp? Well, it's like yeah. to test it. We decided oh. that we should do one almost to completion before doing the rest of them, just in case we find out any more little quirky little things that need sorting. But yeah, uh, we didn't do the end one because someone's going to comment. Because, yeah, all this stuff's in the way and we'd parked loads more stuff, so we were like, this one looks easier. <laughs> and also, we've done all three of these bases, didn't want to do the rest of them until, again, we've confirmed. But, uh, yeah, my God, what a challenge this has been. It is, uh, what are we on, day, what did you say? Don? Four full days now. Four full days. You know, I'm sure it could be done faster, but I'm old and fat and... Jay hasn't eaten a vegetable in his entire life, so <laughs> he's, got weak, he's got yeah. real weakness. <laughs> but yeah, it is now time to grab a car and see how badly it doesn't go on this. We know it's likely to, to need wood for most of the cars to be able to ramp up onto these, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a test and see where we can get the balance and then hopefully it will bleed properly because it needs the weight on the bed to actually... We've had uh, some oh, we've had some real excitement up and downs, haven't we? We should probably um, double check that those locks are engaging enough. But yeah, it does things, as you can see, and it goes bloody high, doesn't it? Does it go high? Yeah. But yeah, grab an S15. We haven't started this thing in months, so we pushed it over here. So let's see now that it's uh, got a charged battery, possibly, what it does. I mean, it fits, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I do think that we could improve the the um, 
rear beam on it so that we can get it back in further if necessary. But it's about that. It's about where you can it, really. No, it could be a bit. I mean, we measured for it to be the back wheels touching the yeah. bar on this one. So, so I think we'll modify that back orange section. Okay, send it up, then let's see what happens. <laughs> the danger bit. Yeah, let's see if it goes up level. Okay. It's not that bad. Pretty good so far. I mean, a sensible person will probably chop the front wheels. Can you put a handbrake on? Got no handbrake, it's easier. Yeah. And on a hill pointing at yeah. us. <laughs> I mean, the trailer is right there with some chocks in it. Can we just put a chock on it? Yeah, one while second. We, while we do the setup. <laughs> Safety first. Or last. Or Yeah, try at least. Right, dealt with. I mean, we haven't got bolts in the front of those or the back. Yeah, that one has. I know that one hasn't either. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the second piston. So I'm going to come down at that, I reckon. See, see how it falls then? Yeah. Fast! I did wind that up though, didn't I? The speed. You did wind it up, yeah, it comes down quite fast. Once it's got weight on it, it's probably a bit too wound up. Because that top section does come down quicker as well. Yeah. You join us some days later. Yeah, maybe a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this is a uh, yeah, this is a uh, yeah, a big job. But check this out. You got to zoom out, Miles. I know. I've got to walk, keep walking back and back and back. Oh, no, so is nearly complete. <laughs> <laughs> We're really, really, really nearly there now. We had it's, to figure out the first couple, didn't we? You make it up as we went along. That, I, I seriously reckon we lost at least a day and a half um, learning, didn't we? Yeah, for the, for the first ones through. and how to do it. But um, yeah, it is definitely looking really good. We've got cars on the top at the moment because we're still doing adjustments. There's basically um, a contactor that tells the ramp where to stop and not keep adding pressure and pressure and pressure. So we have to set those up. We have to level the ramps as well, um, the left and right sides with the chains. But again, we're, we're, now, we're now pretty used to doing it. We've got four holes left on yeah. that cover and one nut to tighten up, I think, and we've done. Yeah, see, I'm confident enough to walk underneath it as well. I and don't know about that. <laughs> Our measurements for um, the top here are absolutely spot on as well. Um, getting the cars back as far as possible. Oh, you can see perfect. here the fact that you're obviously we had to change them for loads oh, yeah. of cars. Oh yeah, let me grab the thing. So we've, uh, obviously like most things in Driftworks, we end up modifying something, but um, this, this part is normally upright, normally that and that combine, and it's an upright part, but obviously our cars are so low, and that doesn't really work out well for us. Uh, and because we want the cars on sort of facing forwards, we really, really need to get the cars as far back as possible to get the balance right. Um, so this was a perfect way to do it. It allows us to roll the tire right back to this as the stopping point just there. And then um, we just simply created these pieces, which we've not finished. They need um, deburring and stuff, but uh, that will go on there and add a little bit of triangulation and finish it up nicely. One modified ramp. Or five modified ramps. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, nearly there. We should probably crack on with uh, yeah, more we'll finish drilling. Yeah, this when there's more cars underneath yeah. it. Done. <laughs> Done.
yeah, that leaves us a nice storage area. And then somewhere to work on our cars without stuff in the way the whole time. As simple as that. <laughs> so not, not bad going really for two old men um, in some of the hottest days in the UK we've had. Uh, something we've never done before as well. We've just done some quick maths to work out kind of the scale of what it is that we've built. Uh, so we know that we've, we've drilled 84 12 mil by 140 mil holes in the concrete floor, which is super solid concrete, yeah. uh, requiring three resharpens on the SDS bit. And two drills. And two, oh uh, yeah, we kind of got the second drill out because we ended up on one of the very last holes getting the SDS bit stuck in the floor, which was about 30 minutes of drama. Anyway, we, um, so yeah, and we had a quick look at how many bolts, nuts, bolts, and washers. So you have a, a normal washer and a spring washer. So nuts, bolts and washers, a single ramp, one single ramp, 230 of those that we've done up. Um, so yeah, this is... It's a thousand bolts? Uh, yeah. Oh, over 1,200 bolts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, it certainly is something, but it's super cool. It really is super cool. We've done the, those uh, modified brackets at the back. Let me show you those. Loads of space at the back here. Um, and yeah, we've kind of got the... We've got the ramps down to uh, pre pre presentation height. Presentation. Yeah, so they go massively high, but there's no need for them to go um, that high when we store them because it is kind of a visual thing. Still got loads that I want to do in here in terms of making it look a little bit more presentable, but I figured we'd. This video has been long enough, really, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I mean, in real life, it's been weeks. It's been weeks. Yeah. yeah, we need to get back to actually working on some of the cars um, rather than this. So yeah, we'll, we'll revisit some of it. I do want to get the floor sorted and some things like that. But yeah, it's been um, it's been really good. The ramps themselves, I'm really quite impressed with. They are cheap Chinese, cheap Chinese um, ramps, but the cost of these. Uh, is pretty much the same, of these five ramps, is pretty much the same as uh, the quote that I got for two Ben Pack storage lifts, storage ramps. And these are actually better, they're more efficient use of space, you uh, get the cars closer together and all sorts of stuff like that. You also don't need the, the ones where you can park two cars on a ramp and two cars underneath it. I don't really like the idea of those because you have to move two cars out anytime you want to get one of the top ones out. So. They worked out really well. Um, like I say, they are pretty affordable. But they're used. Uh, they're used all over the world for sort of proper car park storage and things like that. So, got total faith in them. Now, enough for me to walk underneath them anyway. <laughs> well, they've stayed up over the weekend. So yeah. Obviously good. And when it comes to fitting them, obviously we've saved a lot of money doing it ourselves. Um, I can't imagine what a company would charge for fitting these five things. We did like what eight days? Eight. We reckon we did eight full days and then a few drips and drabs. Yeah. And like I said, they're not a hundred percent finished. There's stuff we want to do. Like we want to have some charging points on the posts so we can put um, CTEC chargers in when we need to. Stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. What do you reckon? How I don't much? Know. That, that, that guy that we had to quote for that ramp wanted five hundred quid to attach it. To the uh, just the normal two poster. The old, the yeah. Old ramp that we had. There. Yeah. Yeah. So. It ha we have to have saved ourselves three, four grand, did not we? I, guess. I would have thought. In, like, it's, it's been a yeah. com complex job, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. So yeah, no, super chuffed anyway, and a huge thanks to Jay, obviously, for helping me out on this. Um, it's been really nice getting stuck into a big project. I think I've probably lost about five kilos doing it. <laughs> I'm still massive, don't worry. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's actually been quite a fun little project to get stuck into. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll get back to the car stuff in the next one. See you next time. <laughs> a lot of effort for a thumbnail, though. Oh, <laughs> Apologies for the shmi pose. Somebody's saying that's how you do YouTube. We oh, thought I'm we'd... saying that's how you do YouTube. Yeah, but you won't try it. But I, won't, I was refusing to do it. And <laughs> and now you're making me, but you won't do it yourself. Well, I'm not getting there. <laughs> Go on. No, no, it's your, your rant. Oh, embarrassing.